Greetings and salutations. It's your boy D. Boone, fellow E. Ascension, aka LOE Astrology, aka LOE Tarot. We're back with Divine Feminist Karmic Situation. Immediately after this, we will have Divine Masculines Karmic Situation. Should be for a complete while out Wednesday. Just got a uh, water signs to do on astrology, and then I'm finished with the bi weeklies. So, should have that squared away A by the end of the night or uh, B first thing in the morning. Um, like I said, readings are 35 bucks. Holla at me while they still that price. Uh, everything's still cool. Everything is in the green. Other than this life coaching session I'm waiting on, uh, I don't have any readings to do unless I do. So, if I owe you any readings, if we got to continue any life coaching, if you're doing life coaching, you got my number. Just hit me up. Um, if you want to book anything, please do that expeditiously and as soon as possible, just so you can at least get in line, so I can at least knock you out within a two-day period. Within a day, like between a day or two days, that's reading ETAs right now. Aside from all that, let's get with it. We have your personal role up top, feminine, direct energy, conscious energy. Then we got your karmic row at the bottom. This is karma, mystery, madness. You know, could do it yourself personally. But uh, overall energy is fairly important. Bottom line energy is very important. Let's get with it. So, <clears throat> first card in this message is the five of pentacles. This is the dark night of the soul. Or... Going without something that you was kind of either A, holding on too tight to, or B, felt you couldn't go without or couldn't let go. You know, that's all the Five of Pentacles is, is you going without whatever that was you was holding on to. Four of Pentacles in my deck is holding on too tight to some shit, or being, or being scared to let something go. Whatever it is, it's a thing. It's a pentacle. It's a person, place, or a thing. Something you can taste, touch, see, feel in here. Something that's here. Something that's not on its way. Something that's very present. And you're in attendance for it. Clarification of that is the Queen of Swords. That's the Lucy Lou card in my deck. What's a sword? Thoughts, decisions, direction, mentality, ideology. Lucy Lou and Kill Bill. Just look at her mind frame, that whole video. That's the mind frame you need just in life in general. Like a general, or a captain, or a commander, or a fucking superhero, or X Men, however you want to call yourself. You know what I'm saying? You're moving quite different from your average bear. Why? Because of physical isolation. More smoke on this physical isolation you got going on here. You got the Six of Cups. It's like I say all the fucking time. <laughs> Only way you're going to find out what you got, like how much guts you got, how much courage you got, if you got what it takes or not, that comes from within. Usually you find what, it, what you got, like exactly what it takes in life, when all you got is yourself in life. What's the Five of Pentacles? That's failure. That's the dark night of the soul. It's 50%. It's a failure. It's a F. You know what I mean? <laughs> you're gonna have to move accordingly. Be ten toes the fuck down on what mental direction you're going on in life. It shouldn't take you down to your last or you lose everything for you to get on the straight and narrow and find that six of cups, the confidence, the style, the seeds that you already had. You was born with the sauce. It shouldn't take you get to your last quarter for you to get it to, in gear or for you to be down to your last friend to see what really matters and what don't. Bottom line, which is more important than all that, dear. You got your divine masculine, just the king of wands, being clarified by the ace of swords, which is ascension, in a sense. It's the North Star in my deck. What's the North Star? That's the way to freedom. Everybody know the way to freedom. You're just going to have to get there. It's a process of getting there, too. It's a process on getting there, too. Bottom line, you got your divine masculine here. You know. Now... We have you and your Divine Masculine here. Now, Divine Masculine is looking towards you. You kind of looking away. What's between both of you, you know, is uh, the right way. There's only one right way in life. You got left, you got right. There's only one right way. What's that direction? It's up. What's up, guys? What's up? We're not talking north or south or east or west. 
That's a, that's that's 360. That's going in circles and shit. That's third dimension. We talking about fourth, fifth dimensional ways of being here. It's the whole ascension part. The higher you go up, feminine. You know, the more your divine masculine got to do the opposite of mustard. Just catch the fuck up. The higher the masculine go, feminine. The more you got to do the opposite of mustard and catch the fuck up. This is not a competition. Twin Flame, he competes with me all the time. My nigga, you don't even want a competition. You know? I, you're like, <laughs> I'm like, you're like my master. I'm like the Padawan. I'm like a Jedi. You're a Jedi master. I'm a fucking Padawan. You know and I mean, on my way to Jedi Knight. You know and I mean, trying to be a master like you. You know what I'm saying? And I said, uh, I said, it's one thing to know, you know what I'm saying, or feel. You know what I mean? That you better than your pupil, your student, your Padawan. But it's another thing to think your 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 student, your pupil, your Padawan ain't going to become to be a master just like you. That's the complexity part about the shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's just hate. If you don't think your twin can cut it in the world, if you don't think your twin got what it takes as a person, all that shit, like, that's hate. That's, that, that sounds like hate. Hateration, holleration, and this dancery. That sounds like a little competition there. Ain't nothing with healthy competition. But when it's like that, something real. Whatever that energy is, that's something your masculine gonna rise above like cool runnings. Just make sure you ascending to. Coming to this thing, we have you and another person. Somebody in your face, somebody in your space. Since, you know, bottom line, we got you and your masculine here going in the same direction and shit. I just take it y'all going to bump into each other or y'all just going to end up in the same space or same place. Put more smoke on that. Or this is just y'all getting closer. Uh, clarify this two of pentacles. We got the seven of pentacles. This is the re, -re card. R-E-R-E. -R -E. You know, Rihanna card in my deck, but, you know, R-E is how I spell it when I say re, -re. You know, upon this reconnection, maybe, let me pick another card. Four of Wands pop out. It's definitely, we got a four, but it ain't the Wands. We got the Four of Pentacles. And it's a warning. And on Gang Gang, DD, 274. That's my shit right there, lady. <laughs> uh, to me, this is a sign. I'm a Divine Feminine. These are my numbers. <laughs> Love these numbers. Like, this shit is tight. And they're all Pentacles. Once again, shit, you can taste, touch, see, feel, and hear. Let me add this up. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, man, it's night. Yeah. In my hand, this is 13 pentacles. I shouldn't do that from 274 anyway. Um, in my hand, I hold 13 pentacles. What's the 13th pentacle? The king of pentacles, which is out here. This is a CEO. This is an owner. Could be a carbon masculine too, but we ain't talking about that. This is ownership. This is an alchemist, a wizard. A magician, a motherfucker that can manifest whatever the fuck they want. Divine feminine in your hand is a formula that you can use to be in a position to manifest whatever the fuck you want. Now, part of the formula is finding a like-minded person or having a like-minded person in your life or your identical flexion in your life or your divine counterpart in your life. Like That's stage one, phase one. You got a twin flame. Booyah. Check that off your list. Seven of Pentacles. <clears throat> You're going to have to get your life right. This ain't just for your twin. This is just for you in general. Each of you has to have your own life. What's a life? That's the Eight of Pentacles. What you got going into the future, feminine? This is a life. You know that term, get a life? This is having one. 28% karm, uh, excuse me, 28% divines in the world, in my opinion. 70% karmics, and then you got the one, two percenters and shit. I mean, in my personal opinion, the average person ain't got a life. You can be a millionaire and live in a fucking mansion and not have a life. Facts. So when we say get a life, we talking about a real one. What's the Eight of Pentacles? That's a life. That's a 80%. Remember, you was just at the dark night of the soul. What's that? 50% failure. This is 80%. A B. 70% re-re, which I got in my hand. That's just passing. Passing is cool. But you need something stable. You need a harvest. Eight of Pentacles is a harvest. It's a garden. We're going to get to this in a second. A seed. That's just okay. Like, that's... I mean, it's passing. We're not knocking passing here. But we're trying to thrive. We're trying to evolve. We're trying to grow. We're trying to ascend here. Feel me? So, 
This is life. Shoes on your feet, clothes on your back, comfortable bed to sleep on, two of wands, a job, three of wands, a purpose, four of wands, a twin flame union, reunion, a recognition, or your twin, either a twin flame demo or just your twin general, or another twin if your twin is passed on or not here or some shit like that. You know what I mean? Like, this is life. Everything you have is in your life. But you're going to have to line your shit up. Why? To make room for whoever you're trying to fit in here, for whatever you're trying to put in here. Or to be wherever you try to be in life. Person, place, the thing. Pinnacles. <clears throat> you got a twin flame. You got a demo. Boom. That was just the first check. Seven of Pinnacles. That's just re re. You releasing something out your life. You reorder, reordering things. Uh, Reevaluate. Review. Reconnect. Relocate. Release, rehab, rehash, reverb, re-up, re -nick. whatever the re-re is. And it's going to take a couple re -re's, not just one. As long as you got the right person in your cipher, or the right person to make this move you're trying to make, it's all pentacles at the end of the day, right? As long as you keeping the pentacles that you need in your life and removing the pentacles you don't need in your life, Check. Last phase is just to let it all go. <laughs> let it all go. You know, let go, let God. That's the four of pentacles, really. I told you. It's all about pentacles at the end of the day. The world is a pentacle. You are a pentacle. Your love is a pentacle. Your kids are pentacles. The plants is pentacles. Your items are pentacles. What's a pentacle? It's something you can lose. It can be taken away from you. It can be destroyed. It can expire. Everything got a fucking expiration date. Every pinnacle has an expiration date. Unless it's, you know, diamond or gold or some of these precious ass metals and shit that came from the heavens and shit. So it's not really earthly metals and shit. But anyway, karma and all that, we got fear. Knight of Swords. This is making decisions without crossing your T's and dotting your I's. Or being mentally discombobulated from the card before this, which was a death card or a permanent ending. Knight of Swords, that's fear. What's the opposite of fear? It's love. The opposite of love ain't hate. It's fear. You fear what you don't know. You fear the unknown. You, you, you fear what's, what's going to happen next because you either A, in a whole new place like Aladdin, or B, death has fucking changed things in a way to where you really don't know what the fuck's going to happen next. That's the Knight of Swords, being mentally discombobulated. It's a big-ass sword. What's a sword? Thoughts, decisions, directions, mentality, ideology. And verifying that as a Six of Swords. Sixes are all about transitions and movement more so than anything. Six of Swords, that shit clicking. Shit click, click with it. This is a wave. Ride that bitch. <laughs> this is a wave. Ride that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? This is like a hill. Ride down it. You know? It's like it's hot as hell. You sitting on your porch, your kids is having fun. It's like the way the sprinklers looking in that little game that they playing. You just want to run through it. You know, this is just taking a load off, literally or figuratively speaking. Yeah? It's just easing on down, easing on down the road on some motherfucking Wizard of Oz shit. <laughs> you mentally discombobulated. You fucked up. It was just a, a death. You just lost something, someone, or everything. Best thing you can do is ease on down the road. Take a load off. This ain't being in your head like you completely detached from what the fuck's going on taking a load off. No, nah, this is like you literally at a funeral. It's awake. Just kind of shock still. You know what I mean? You go outside. It's like at a church that you grew up in or some shit. Like, damn, I want to think got the swings outside. You used to swing them bitches when we was kids and shit. It's like you go outside and you see the swings. You get to swing it on them bitches. <laughs> Hold on one second, look at my phone. You know my mento? And you get to swing it on them bitches. And then, you need a church. You remember the old swings. You go over there and see if they still over there. They still over there. And it's fits adults. It used to be just kids back then. It fits adults now. <clears throat> it's 
strike you. Get on the swing. Swing a few, and it's just like it all hits you. Like a ton of bricks. <laughs> In the midst of you swinging, on this swing, like I say, sixes are all about transitions. You start to understand six of pentacles. Everything is going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Then you get to thinking about the last five of pentacles you was in, the last dark night of the soul you was in, the last time you went without something or something was taken from you or something expired. You start to think, damn, yeah, that was fucked up too. But I was okay then. I'm okay now. The swing is just <laughs> therapeutic like a motherfucker. For some, it could be tattoos. If you ain't never got a tattoo, get one. I know some religions like shun you marking up your body and shit like that. I feel I, have, I, feel I ain't got enough. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> It's therapeutic. If you get one, you're going to get more because it's therapeutic. Is this something about sit? Is this something about something about sitting there and getting drilled with a fucking mechanical needle, trying hard as hell to not bitch up in front of the guy giving you a tattoo? Because if women can do it, it's like a roller coaster ride. I'd be damn if I bitch up. I got a tattoo right here on my chest. It hurt the most, and I took that shit like a champ. Titties all moving and shit. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> the chick just took the same type of shit, but she took it like a G. And I'm sitting here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> but dumbing myself down from like letting out the pain, I'll hold the pain in. But it's a different type of hold the pain in. Not a negative hold the pain in, but like a positive hold the pain in. Real shit. Well, a person that's got damn near, I think I got like 10 tats maybe. Yo, that shit's therapeutic. Just get one. If you ain't ever had one, get one. You'll know them tumble. <laughs> Don't get a big one if it's your first time. First one I got was on my forearm. <laughs> from here to here. <laughs> I get them at the worst spots. I got all my tats at the worst spots. But anyway, rate, it's therapy. That swing is like getting a tattoo. It's a rough ride, but you grow from it. And then tattoos become from like this first therapy, therapeutic experience to what tattoos are for me. I get them during like, you know, milestones in my life, you know? It helps seal up memories. I can look at tattoos and, and know the why I got on, remember where I was at, you know, and everything that was going on at the time. You know what I mean? You're transitioning. Whether that's somebody that's transitioning and you're transitioning with the pinnacle switches with it or something you feel coming. You in regards to yourself personally feminine, we got the Knight of Cups. And let me go back. <clears throat> if it ain't death, you know, if a person... This is you losing your job. This is you losing like your title. You losing something. Okay. You gonna be okay. <laughs> you always end up okay. You always find another job. You always bounce back. You always bounce back. Now, you in regards to yourself, divine feminine, you got the Knight of Cups. This is a shitload of emotion or a shitload of uh, passion. It's a big ass cup at the end of the day. What's a cup? It's a feeling or an emotion. And all feelings and emotions are, are just indicators on what mental direction you're going in from your mind and your heart being aligned. Putting smoke on this Knight of Cups because this is direct and conscious energy. We have the Knight. Excuse me, not the Knight. We got the Four of Swords. Four of Swords is idle mind. What's well, idle mind? It's a double workshop. Four of Swords is too much rest and relaxation. It's one thing being on vacation, but it's another thing. You really got too much fucking time on your hands and it's just got your ass tweaking. You worry about shit you ain't got to worry about. You dealing with outside conflict, shit you don't have to deal with, but you invited yourself in it. Why? Who knows? It's just doing shit you know you ain't got no business doing. All a doorway is, and if you in your head, that means you ain't got no actions going on. But if you got actions or you trying to manifest something, then you ain't in your head too much. Got a shitload of passion. But you in your head with it. What happens when you get a shitload of passion or a shitload of emotion and you in your head with it? Oh, it's it's the, it's the doorway to the devil. I hope the devil won't pop out. Let me see. Three of Pentacles. <clears throat> if you got shitload of emotion and you in your head, you just gonna fear the worst. You just gonna overthink shit. You gonna overshoot it this time. You know, it's 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 too much shit. There's too many what ifs out here for you to be worried about. But why worry about any one of them? 
It's too many probabilities and variables you can kind of take into consideration, but why? To keep shit simple. Kiss, keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> stupid. Now, we got the three of pentacles clarifying this you being in your head shit. This is direct energy with you in regards to yourself. Me too, geeks. So, to make this make sense, I guess I'll use me as an example. So, Nine of Cups, that's a shitload of emotion. Feelings. That I got in my head. This is me, this is another person, and this is me trying to do shit with them. This is me and the job I need and me doing whatever the fuck I gotta do to get that hoe. This is me and something I need to, I don't know, make my life better, change my situation, whatever. This is me doing whatever the fuck I gotta do to get it. It's a bridge at the end of the day. Life is all about bridge building. You learn it as a kid, meeting your first fucking friend when you had your little cubbies and your little hanger and shit and head start. That's where I met my friends, like head start, kindergarten and shit, like, you know what I mean? You learn this whole build, bridge, oh my God, bridge building shit early in the day. So as an adult, okay, we shouldn't have no qualms here about what the fuck you should or should not be doing with your idle time, especially with emotion like this. You only gonna disappoint yourself being in your heart this big and having no actions. We got everything but actions, cups, feelings, and emotions. All indicators of what mental direction you're going in. We know where you mentally at right here. This is close for me too, geeks. Four swords. You two in your head. You just lost your job. Of course you got too much time on your hands. You just lost your car. Of course you kind of waiting now. And it ain't like how it used to be when you was mobile. Somebody just died. <sighs> of course you in your head about it. You know what I mean? Mind, mental. You still whatever. Breathing. You know what I mean? Whatever. Okay? You still got to build bridges out here. We can't let nothing in our heads affect what we manifesting out here on basic levels or what we feel out here on great levels. At the end of the day, it's about balance. We all have to be balanced to receive our twin flame union reunion recognitions, number one, to receive our blessings, number two, to be on our path and stay on it and to survive the best we can. And she personally, Mystery Madness, all that shit. We got the Nine of Cups. Dreams come true. Wishes granted. Miracles. They still happen. These God that I serve, God that I serve, still blessing people out here. Still showing up on burning bushes. Still splitting red seas. Still got prophets walking on water out here. I mean, it, it just don't show up in the way the Bible did. So I serve awesome God. That guy is an awesome guy, man. He he reigns so raw. There's only one throne. And this whole intergalactic, interstellar, celestial, whatever adjective you want to use with it. Okay? It's only one throne. So what, what else is there to talk about? Dreams come true, which is granted miracles, man. Come on. Thank God you serve. Which is granted. Any type of wish that's been granted, any type of miracle, any type of thing you had on your heart that's came into fruition. Not off you just feeling it and getting it. No, it took actions. You must have did some actions for it to happen. Capping. It all depends on the guy you serve. You and God are one. So for you atheists, I really got off y'all ass. You see, right? Season one, I was on y'all bumpers. You know what I'm saying? Like now. Since you and God and God are one, you know, that's a, that's a fact. I can't really knock y'all as much no more. Because maybe my mental or perception on this side was a wall. Oh, it's still lines I don't cross like Peter Pan and Hook and shit. But look. Whatever miracles happen in your life, they come from the type of God you serve. What is God? The king of swords in my deck. What are swords? That's all mental. God is in your mind. Death. What is the death card? Ten of Swords. It's all fucking mental. It's in your mind. There's a step past death. But guess what? There ain't no card past God. King of Swords. That's the final card. Thirteenth card. These are the card deck. What do you do after you get to God? In a card deck. Motherfucker, you pull that Ace of Swords out. 
<laughs> and you start back at one. <laughs> yeah. Swamp GD. What? That's why it's 274. Any motherfucking way with me. 274. DD, DD. Hey, it's all one. Any motherfucking way with me. 360. <laughs> you know. Starts back at one. Life's a cycle. It's not a straight line. It's not a circle. It's a cycle in a spiral. That's either going up or going down like Mary J. Blige. Speaking of going down. Feminine, you in regards to the masculine energy in your life, around you, within you, you got three of cups. This is distractions or a third party. You gotta be distracted by the ills of the world. I told you, 70% karmics, man. My fuckers are doing dirty out here. You don't understand the world, which is the four of cups, it's the step after this. <laughs> if you don't understand three of cups distractions, if you don't understand being a third party, things being in the way, shit you need to focus on, shit you don't need to be focused on, good people and bad people, goes back to the bridge building shit you was doing in head start and kindergarten, right? Three of cups, distractions. Four of cups, the world. The world is full of these. You can fit distractions into the world card. I still have room left for fuckery. Fuckery! <laughs> but hey, uh, distractions. You don't want to be distracted in the world because the world got so many of them for you. So many systems that would rather have you as a number, an inventory, than as a human being. I remember when Obama was getting elected and shit. Ignorant motherfuckers talking about, man, they're going to assassinate Obama. They're going to kill that man. I don't... Nigga, is you crazy? First of all, they shoot that nigga. It's going to be a problem. Where he come from? He ain't from the shop. But where, where, where he come from? Where his wife from, nigga? Hey, shot town. Yeah, they would to kill him, nigga. Yeah, y'all see when we... <laughs> I wasn't there. They ain't got me on camera doing this shit. I was working while these niggas was raping and pillaging out here like dark age motherfucking savages. Bruh, they killed while it's going up. Chicago would have set it off for everybody. Yeah, I definitely would have been in that. <laughs> yeah, I would have had the mask on like future and that bitch. It would have went up. They don't want them problems, so that definitely wouldn't have happened. Number two, like I say, they'll make... Yo, man, they'll make Obama a clone or a goddamn robot and put a chip in that nigga and have him like on some zombie robot control shit before they kill the man. Like, what the fuck is we worth way much alive now these days? <laughs> so, let's just say this like, it's kind of distractions. Conspiracy theories, ills of the world, curses, magic, all that. It's like, you know what I mean? Like, hey, the world's full of that shit. All right, we need to be focused. On the main direction. What the fuck is that? Oh, Ace of Swords. The step after God. Right? <laughs> or the step towards God. If you ain't got the God yet, it starts here. Ascension. That's how you get to where you need to go. So, put his smoke on his distraction shit. You got the Knight of Pentacles. All this distraction shit. All this bad bridge building with bad people and shit. Like, all that shit come from grooming. It's how you was taught. It's how you was raised. And how you teaching and raising your kids. I come from a generation where, nigga, my mama was accountable for half the shit I did. If I was a bad son, it was on my mama. I also was in a generation where neighbors used to whoop my ass. Like, my mom used to, like I said, be working like a motherfucker. Hey, you see my son getting out of line, whoop his ass for me. If you see that nigga not in school, skipping school somewhere on the streets, y'all call me, y'all tell me. My mom knew everything I was doing before I even did it. You know what I mean? That's just how interconnected she was with her children, as I would be with mine. <laughs> mom was uh, hanging her back in for her, but looking back at it, mom was so fucking cool how she did that shit. <laughs> she did it in a way I would have did it with my shorty, you know what I'm saying? Hey, it's, it's how you came up. You were divine, right? It's because you probably was raised by divines or influenced by divines. You know what I mean? If you divine, most likely your shorty is going to be. But I mean, it ain't guaranteed. I told you, 28% divines. It's kind of guaranteed it might not be your family. You might be the only beam of light in your family. Might be the only beam of light in your bloodline and some shit. It'd be, it'd be, it'd be, it'd be like that sometimes. But at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's how you get. Say it all the time. If you're going to get teachings or 
a reading or you know, if we'll get anything from anybody, make sure these people are a level where you got to catch up on. Make sure they know something more than you or got more than you or at least in a position of, and legit shit. We ain't talking about just surface value, what they tell you they got and what you see they have. No, fuck that. Straight down the board. They need to be way more advanced. Way more ascended than the people you fuck with. Because they raw as fuck. And if you can get raw like them, ugh, that's going to make you super duper duty dope. And you'll be in a position to teach somebody the way you just got taught. Thus completing the circle of life. You know what I mean? You fucking with motherfuckers who ain't ain't even on your level and you got them on a level above you? Shit that twins do with their masculines all the time. That's where we fucked up. I had that epiphany a couple days ago. That's where we fucked up with our masculines a long time ago. <laughs> we let them know exactly how important they were. What would happen if they will never be here. If something happened to them, how we will keep their legacy on and love them to the day they die and hitting them with all kind of 80s, 90s, <laughs> R&B and contemporary shit. <laughs> love messages and shit like that. Like I say, all your masculine is, just think it, best way to, I don't know, people ask, what's the best way to do this twin flame situation? Like, what's the best way to get to my twin like that? Best way I can say is, yo, treat your masculine like a, a plant, an industry plant. If you look at your masculine like this, your masculine ain't doing shit but teaching you the ills of the world, personally, to where you ain't even got to be in the world to learn the ills of the world. Your masculine is teaching you a lot. Not just from the shit they kicking you, but from the shit that they do. You learn from doing. What is your divine masculine? The king of wands. He's the king of actions. I mean, so anybody you need to learn from is going to be him. He's going to be making some of the actions you're going to learn anyway. <laughs> he ain't got to teach you for you to learn. Shit's just going to happen anyway from the shit that he's doing. You know, your masculine is out here. You both are out here. You know? <laughs> he's got rank over you when it comes to actions. Thus, he's a person you can learn from. He's a person that's on your level or maybe above. Once again, anybody on your level or below, don't fuck with them. All they're going to do is bring you down to their level. And you're going to be distracted. And you're going to be getting going for somebody else's prerogative, program, agenda. <sighs> this is not how we twerking. Future final row. Feminine going into the... Oh, shit. Mystery Madness all that. Excuse me. <laughs> Mystery Madness to this whole distraction, grooming shit you getting with this Three of Cups and this Knight of Pentacles, which is the groom card, grooming. You got a King of Pentacles. This is a Karmic Masculine or... It's a Karmic Masculine. It's either a good one or a bad one. Ugly, put them in the good category. Ugly, put them in the good category. You got the Ten of Swords. Now look at another card. <laughs> Looks deep. All right. So, when it comes to this karmic masculine here, feminine, it's purpose over person. I think we had this talk in your personal situation. We talked about your divine masculine, who was in your reading, and your karmic masculine, who was in your reading also. A permanent ending or death is going to happen with a karmic masculine of yours. Could be a good friend who's just passed on so they can finally you know go wherever god got for them at this present time you don't know what happens when we pass but god definitely got jobs seven trillion inhabited planets out here you best believe we all got jobs to do now let's say death happens this is like a, a good friend former lover former mentor something like a father figure you know uh Somebody very instrumental in your life, but also somebody who kind of wronged you in a way. You know, somebody you had conflict with, somebody who is a karmic for a reason in your life. But what you're starting to understand is the reason why it was purpose over person when it came in to you and this person to begin with. It's purpose you want with this person. It's a purpose of their passing. It's a purpose for everything. But it's all becoming clear, you know, it's like 
You don't go out that much for reasons. No friends go out. Walk out the door. You get a call. Could be this death right here. Something. You get a call about something. Plans change. You know what? I gotta take this call. Y'all go on my holes all up. This sounds like it's gonna be something important. You go home, you hear some shock ass shit. Some crazy shit. But you kinda didn't want to hear it. Next morning, you get another call. Your camp crew you went out with, or almost went out with last night. Something happened to them. They get in a car crash. Uh, it was at a club, and then somebody started shooting at the club and shit. Fucked up shit happened. You wasn't there because you wasn't there due to this situation. You know. However, death speaks to you. It could be a death of a celebrity. You know, it could be a death of a friend of a friend. You, know, uh, you see a death that happened in your friend life, and you see in the effect that death is happening on them. You know what I mean? It's not your job to take on the grooming that that person had because the person who were grooming this person is gone. No. You ain't got time for that. A lot of shit to be happening. Deaf people be feeling obligated to take other people's shit. Whether that's other people dead. I seen it. Other people dead. Other people kids. Other people grown kids. When I say grown kids, we talk about ages 18 to, to 45. Plus, 18 to 45 plus, you know, refugees, soon to be refugees. You know how death go. Hey, the end of the day, going to the future, you got life. Eight of Pentacles, this is a life. This is a good standing. The average person ain't got a life. The average person ain't in good standing. So, protect your shit. Protect your life. Take what you have. It's takers who are ready to take anything that you can give them. You know, if you ain't aware of your environment or your space and shit, people will exploit that. It's almost fucking Christmas out here, you know what I mean? You got a life to protect. And that's what you need to be focused on. That's what you need to be putting time, energy, or resources towards. To a wands. That's work. That's what you need to be working towards. A better life. Or at least make a shit sure the life that you got is at least stable, a little bit more anchored. A little bit more rooted. Work. Having a life is easy. Maintaining a motherfucker is a 24-hour job. Having a relationship is easy. It's a 24-hour job maintaining it. Having children is easy. It's a 24-hour job maintaining it. Creating a business and all that other shit. Like, that's easy, but maintaining it is the hard part here. But final card is message is as long as you unite a winding, which is moving fast and fiercely. Oh, my God. Fast and fiercely towards your divine direction, you're going to be cool. This is where where you need to be in life. Maybe you don't know where the fuck you going in life, but good shit start happening. And like I said, you see signs of synchronicities letting you know that you exactly where you needed to be. Given a situation, given a death, given a given whatever, you are exactly where you need to be. You wouldn't be here receiving messages and still in the game if you wasn't here to play. Think about all the people who not here. It's game over. We still playing. Make sure you play to win. That's the message that I got. If I could be a good use, it's your boy D. Boom. Please stay tuned. Masculine's coming up next. Holla.